you're in the market for a premium leather case for your new iPhone 14 or alike, there are a couple of options to pick from. In the sub $80 mark, there are two that I've considered and I have purchased for your uh, review, I suppose, and that is the genuine Apple iPhone 14 leather case and my go-to Balroy uh, leather case as well. And I'll take you through my thoughts and opinions and uh, show you a quick demo of them both. Okay, so to show you a quick um, rundown and uh, unboxing, although to be honest with you, these have been used for a couple of weeks, so I can really test them before I review them. Uh, yeah, you know, it's no surprise, but I'll have a look at the Bellroy first. So if you look at the website, this is their Bellroy uh, mod phone case, made out of eco tan leather, recyclable plastics, and MagSafe compatible um, for the iPhone 14. So you gotta make sure you select the right one when you order them because they won't fit the Plus or the Pro and so forth. It's got the Mod Rails locking grooves, uh, which is designed for their own accessories like the wallets. So they have a tab that will fit into that, which I'll show you shortly. Um, they've got the microfiber lining uh, and it's a premium eco tanned leather finish. And they give you three year warranty. And this one here sent me back $85. Uh, so let's have a closer look. So typical of Bellroy's, you know, sort of boxes, I think they're quite nice and, and detailed enough. Uh, slides out and you've got this nice leather case. Um, this is so you can scan the QR code, get all the bits and pieces. But the idea with a lot of the Bellroy products is that, you know, they, they tend to build a nice patina over time. So that's day one when you open it and then you can sort of, you know, check it out, what it's gonna look like in, argument sake, uh, 12 months from now. So as you can see, that is that tab that I was referring to. So if you were to put on a Bellroy wallet, it will lock into that. In addition to the MagSafe uh, built-in magnet, which you should be able, well, you can see the ring just there. Um, inside you've got the Made in China Whisk Hair and the Bellroy Owl, um, and there's not much more to it. Now, you know, this leather is a nice uh, piece of leather. It does feel pretty thin. Um, and as you, you may or may not be able to see here, it almost feels like it's it's not very well uh, stuck on. So I just, if I can just get the camera to sort of zoom in where I want it to zoom in, uh, focus in, not where it wants to focus in. But you know, right, right there. Oh yeah, it's got a bugger. You can just see where it's trying to sort of uh, peel off, uh, and it is a thin-looking piece of leather. Um, anyway, being that it's a light color uh, and a natural product, you can see the the scratches um, as, as you can see here, but you know what? Uh, that's what gives it the character when you have a nice genuine leather product. And that's one of the reasons why I opted in for a leather case. I've got lots of other cases, but I find it with leather because it's a natural uh, material. It does uh, feel nice. It uh, ages well over time. So yeah, anyway, you got the Bellroy branding at the bottom. Um, this is that, uh, what they call the recycled polymer edge uh, bumpers. Uh, and when I put the phone in, you'll be able to see it. You've got the buttons, which are plastic, and the section there for the vibrating toggle. Okay, I'll just check in the phone so you can have a quick look. So, when you, whoops, when you press it in there, it's nice and easy to put in, by the way. Uh, that didn't take any effort whatsoever. Now, this is what I was referring to. So, if you have a look at the case there, there isn't too much of a bumper protection. Right? I would say, now I do have a glass screen protector, which when you add a glass screen protector, it does, you know, make it a little bit, obviously a little bit higher. Therefore, the bump protection isn't as high, but you can just barely feel it when you run your finger through it. So it is a very, very light um, bump protection. Now, that's the reason why it also makes it to be nice and slim in the hand. So when you put this in your pocket, it, it barely feels there. The good thing is it does have the protection. 
It does have a nice raised uh, edge around the camera uh, to protect it from bumps. So that's a nice touch. And it feels soft. This, this is the thing with Bowery products. The leather is so nice that it feels awesome to hold in your hand and doesn't take too much away from the phone. The buttons are clicky and responsive. Oops, I broke that one. Um, and same with the volume and the toggle for the vibration on and off is quite easy to get your nail into it. So, you know what? It's a beautiful case, holds well, feels well, and I like it. Okay, so you spend another $4 and you can get yourself an iPhone 14 leather case with MagSafe. All right, standard, typical Apple box. You pull it out and there's your case, All right? Really exciting stuff. Yeah, from the start, if I can just compare these uh, cases side by side. Actually, before I do that, let me just take you through this case. Um, if you've owned an Apple uh, case in the past, there's not much to it, right? It's full leather. You've got the MagSafe in this case, uh, as you can see the, the circle there, and where it lines up in the middle. It's got the iPhone writing inside and all that jazz, and the Apple logo. Um, on the back of the case, right? Not much to it. If I compare these side by side, um, mm, they're pretty much on par, height wise. Uh, yeah, I would say they're pretty much the same. Interesting. One thing that's noticeably different is the bump for the camera. Uh, so as you can see, the, uh, did you get my trusted pen? As you can see here, that edge there is slightly higher than the Balro one. So that will definitely give you a lot more protection if you drop it near the lens. So that's just something to consider. Um, the buttons, well, they feel nice. Like all Apple cases do feel nice. And I would say that the the, vibration, the slot there for the uh, vibration, the vibrating button uh, toggle is slightly bigger on the battery, which may make it a bit easier if you've got fat fingers like me. So when you put this case on, um, again, this has got a nice sort of velvet uh, microfiber lining inside it. Um, you know, they, Apple would say this is a specialty tanned and finished leather. I'm not exactly sure what that means, but it does feel nice. It does feel a little bit more, I guess, rigid uh, from, from a sense of, you know, being a one piece solid case, but I don't know, it feels like there's a bit of cardboard at the back, to be honest. Uh, this one here does feel a lot in hand, it's very hard to sort of describe, but when you're holding the, um, the back of the case itself, the Bellroy does feel a little bit more solid in the back and like it will add a little bit more protection. So. When you chuck the uh, MagSafe case, you automatically get that circle to say, hey, you've got a black case on it to match the cover. Um, and that's for me is one way of uh, showing that it's a genuine case. Although if I'm wrong, please let me know. Um, now, first first things first, the although they feel the same, like they're the same height in profile, for some reason, the, the edges feel a little bit more, a little bit higher on the iPhone than the Bellroy. Now, that could be that the Bellroy has a, a beveled edge, so it sort of, as it finishes in here, it goes in, whereas the Apple one finishes square. So that could be what gives you that illusion of it being um, a bit higher. Um, like I mentioned at the back, the, the lens protector is definitely higher, and that is made of some sort of a plastic material similar to the buttons. Buttons are nice and clicky which you would expect from um, an Apple product. So look, overall, it's a beautiful case. I've picked a black and uh, this, uh, I can't remember what this color was called, to be honest. What's it called? Does it say on the box? Uh, nope. Anyway, I can look that up nice and quickly. But uh, what I was gonna say is that it does feel a lot, feel a lot nicer in hand, being that it's um, slightly softer leather. Um, but I do like the brown, it just sort of to mix it up. I also do like the black because it sort of it hides away and blends into the phone a little bit more. Um, 
Yeah, so that gives you a quick comparison of two premium uh, iPhone cases that are in that vicinity of, um, what do we say, 85 and $89. So one last uh, test is the, I guess the MagSafe uh, charger and how it performs. Now, they both charge, so I'm not gonna go into sort of that detail, but more around the strength. Being that this is an, an Apple product, one would assume that it's gonna be a lot stronger and you know this is very solid um, there's no problem whatsoever of it letting go uh, just to make it fair I'll put the phone back in the Bellroy with the same weight to see what that feels like now you just have to take my word that it does charge with it because I have been um, using both the cases for a few weeks now and so I can, I can tell you now, this is not as strong as the, uh, as the genuine Apple one, because as I showed you before, um, that held it quite well. Now, it's no, there's no problem when you're charging your phone, because um, you know, it's just gonna sit on top of it. Where the problem you might have is that if you've got a MagSafe mount in your car, where you need to have it up on, 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 the, on the dash. Well, you know, after a few bumps, this could come off, whereas the genuine Apple one, um, yeah, wouldn't have done that. So there we go. There's a quick review and a quick discussion uh, and a demo of both the cases. Let me know in the comments. Hey, do you own one? Do you own them both? Do you like either or? Um, yeah, this is, this is because I couldn't make a, a decision and my mind on which one I wanted. So I thought I'll buy both and then I can have a quick chat to my viewers out there and share with you what I think. And I think that they're both bloody good. Um, this one gets a workout because it does feel a lot thinner. This one feels, I like the sides because you can feel the leather, a little bit soft on the side. So you know what, much of a muchness. Um, just depends what you prefer. Well, this hopefully sums up both of the cases for you and makes your decision a little bit easier if you were looking at purchasing one or the other. Uh, if I had to pick one over the other, or oh, look, possibly the Bellroy. Um, as you can see, uh, the, the Bellroy is a little bit thinner uh, in hand. It's a little, little bit more slim fitting. Um, I do like the rubber uh, case around the, the front uh, for protection. However, the iPhone, the genuine Apple, I should say, one does seem to offer a little bit more protection because it is a bit uh, deeper and there's a little bit more lip around the, um, uh, the screen for screen protection. And it is full leather as opposed to the Bellroy one, which is just the backing is leather. So look, I'm a big fan of Bellroy and the products and the fact that they make everything to be so sort of slim and modern looking and minimalistic. Um, however, I would assume that the Apple one may be perhaps a little bit better quality. Um, it is a little bit, well, it's not a little bit, it is a lot softer in hand. It does feel a little bit more, uh, if you're you know, trying one or the other, it does feel a little bit more solid and, and I guess fills up your hand a little bit. So it just depends. If you're after more of a slim uh, profile case, uh, the Bellroy would be the way to go. If um, you're after, you know, and you're a big Apple fan, you wanna go to Genuine, well, you know what, to be honest with you, you're not gonna go wrong. Uh, $85 versus $89 Australian, um, it's much of a muchness. Um, if you've already got the uh, Apple magnets, uh, magnetic wallets and so forth, well, perhaps, you know, that could be a good option. The difference is with the Bellroy, you do need to get their, their uh, wallets because it does have a slot where they sort of uh, line up with, so perhaps that could be a better option for you too, but, um, I rotate my cases like any other accessory, uh, but at the moment, the Bellroy one seems to be my go-to. Um, it does look a little bit more classier. The only drawback is that it is a lighter brown, which I'm hoping will develop a nice patina, but you are gonna see more stains and so forth on it because of the lighter color. So, as always, thank you for watching my video today. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope I've made your decision a little bit easier, perhaps. Nevertheless, if you did enjoy the video, please like and subscribe. I can see a lot of my viewers are watching, not subscribing, and that's okay if you don't want to, but you know, if it's not too much of a bother, click the subscribe button, helps my channel, 
and thank you for tuning in. My name is Sash and this is ST Reviews. Goodbye.